Hey everyone, this is Michael from Prepare and in this video, I'll show you how to instantly reach out to your leads or contacts collected in Google Forms via WhatsApp. Stick around till the end as I'll also share some important tips on how to make the most out of your Google Forms. Google Forms is a great tool to generate leads or collect contacts for free. Whether you are looking for potential customers or contact details of people for your events, Google Forms allows you to create a form within minutes and share it across different platforms instantly. But how do you contact your leads right away? One great way to reach out to your leads is via WhatsApp. It's a popular app, everyone uses it, and it's much more convenient than emails and phone calls. But the problem is Google Forms and WhatsApp don't integrate with one another automatically. And manually downloading leads, adding each of them to your phone book, and then finally reaching out to them takes a lot of time and effort. As you might know, reaching out to your leads right away increases your chances of converting them by a mile. Luckily, you can automate the process of transferring your Google Forms leads to WhatsApp. Here's how to integrate Google Forms with WhatsApp. As Google Forms and WhatsApp do not directly integrate with one another, you'll need a third-party service or platform to connect these tools. And you can do it in a few different ways. The first option is by using a connector tool. Connector tools like Zapier and Make connect different apps and services to help transfer information between them. You can use these tools as data transferring bridge between Google Forms and WhatsApp. And receive Google Forms submissions notification on WhatsApp. However, if you are looking to send an automated response to submissions on WhatsApp, keep in mind that WhatsApp doesn't generally allow third-party tools to send automated messages on its platform. You might need some extra tools or WhatsApp business API to be able to do so. But make sure to look out for the cost as it might not suit small businesses. A connector tool can improve efficiency by automating the workflow between Google Forms and WhatsApp. This saves a ton of time and reduces manual effort in transferring data. While most of these tools offer a free plan, more advanced features require a paid subscription which might not be feasible for small businesses. Additionally, many connector tools come with a learning curve and you may find it difficult to follow the instruction if you just want to connect WhatsApp with Google Forms. The second option is by using a Google Forms add-on. Some Google Forms add-ons can help you receive Google Forms responses on your WhatsApp. For this, you'll need to set up the add-on on your Google Form and configure your WhatsApp number. Once you add the number, you'll receive a link to the form that you can share via WhatsApp and receive the responses on WhatsApp as messages. Add-ons are easy to install and use and you won't need to learn how to use them once you install them. Add-ons may come with a cost, but they offer very little functionality. As a business owner, you should make sure you are not paying too much for too little. Also, there might be some privacy issues as these tools will have access to your WhatsApp and your messages. This brings us to the next and most effective way of integrating Google Forms with WhatsApp, using a mobile CRM. Mobile CRMs like Prevere integrate with both WhatsApp and Google Forms, allowing you to instantly access your new leads and quickly reach out to them via WhatsApp. Apart from that, Prevere also helps you automate your repetitive manual tasks and streamline your sales process. Prevere is an excellent choice if you are aiming to not only access Google Form leads quickly on your WhatsApp, but also hoping to streamline your overall sales process to improve conversions. Here's how to use Prevere to integrate Google Forms with WhatsApp. In the first step, you'll create a Prevere account and install the app on your phone. Visit Prevere.com and create your free account. Once you create your account, install the app on your mobile device. Prevere is available on both the App Store and Google Play Store. And in the final step, you will integrate Prevere with Google Forms. Open your Prevere app, go to Account, Integrations, and under Lead Sources, find Google Forms. Tap on Configure. A new window will open with instructions and your Prevere account token. Log in to Google Forms and then go to the form that you want to connect to Prevere. Click on the three dot button in the header and then select get add-ons from the menu. Search for Prevere and select Prevere for Google Forms. Click install then continue. At this point, your leads will not be sent to Prevere yet. Since the plugin has been installed but not configured, the next step is to connect your Prevere account to Google Forms open the form you want to connect and then click on the puzzle icon in the error. Select Prevere for Google Forms from the menu and then select configure and wait for the configuration panel to appear. And enter the Prevere account token and then click save. Once done, your form will be connected to Prevere. You can now submit test leads on your forms to ensure you receive them instantly on your Prevere account. You don't need to set up anything on WhatsApp as you can use Prevere to directly send messages to your clients on WhatsApp. You just need the app on your phone. Selecting WhatsApp on Prevere will automatically open your WhatsApp chat with the specific lead you want to message. 
You can also use Prevair to set up auto-personalized messages for each lead. Before you go, here are some tips to help you make the most out of your Google Forms. Keep your forms short and to the point. Long forms can deter potential leads from completing them. Therefore, ask for only essential information to ensure a high completion rate. You can always follow up later for more questions. Also, make sure the form's purpose is clear so respondents know exactly what they are signing up for. Optimize forms for mobile. Many users will access your form on mobile devices. Therefore, always ensure it's mobile friendly as this will likely be the same device they will use for WhatsApp. Contact leads immediately. It's extremely important to reach out to new leads quickly. Faster outreach increases the likelihood of getting a response and ultimately converting a lead into customer. Personalize your messages. Addressing leads by name and referencing specific queries can significantly increase engagement. Use the information collected from the form to personalize the messages you send on WhatsApp. Automate the process. Utilize external platforms and tools to automate data flow from Google Forms to WhatsApp. While doing so, don't forget to set up instant notification for new leads. Track and analyze performance. Always keep track of how many leads are engaging and what are the outcomes of these interactions. Also, use data to refine your form, messaging, and strategy over time. Provide value and build trust. Instead of looking too salesy, focus on providing value through advice and tips related to your product or service. Also, always ensure you respond to your queries fast. Quick responses are crucial to maintain interest and build trust. And that's it for today. Hope I helped you integrate your Google Forms with WhatsApp. Follow our channel for more videos like this and sell tips for small businesses.